is G Wells with them, and them are you, which are the chosen ones, baby. And I'm chosen and serve the chosen ones. Hey, look, chosen ones, creation is done. Now, all you got to do is decide where you want to be at in this 3D realm, where you want to go, where you see yourself, where you picture yourself, where you imagine yourself. What did, this, what did the Most High show you about who you truly are? See, it's already done. As the word tells us, I am Alpha and Omega. I am the beginning and the end. So it's already written. All you got to do is decide where you want to go. Creation is done. It is finished. What Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. It is done. It's nothing else that needs to be done. It's nothing you can do to acquire it. And it's nothing you can do to exempt yourself from it. So all you got to do is ask and it will be given. Knock and the door will be open. Seek and you shall find. So what is it you want, chosen ones? Because all you got to do is decide. Make a decision. Where you want to go? Make your mind up. Decide right now in this moment. Are you going to live a fulfilled life? Or continue to live a mundane life that is not fulfilling you? That is not taking you where you want to go? Because everything under the sun is finished. There is really no new ideas. Everything is just always coming to fruition. Coming into manifestation. But it's already done. Where you see yourself, what you see yourself doing, being, and having is already done. All you got to do is make your mind up of where you want to go and stay there mentally and consciously until that thing manifests itself in its 3D realm. See, a lot of times we hold our back, ourselves back by these 3D constructs. Well, I ain't got enough money. Well, my job won't let me do this. Well, I can't do that because I got kids, a wife, and a husband, and all this. Well, my dreams, ah, uh, that's, that's a pipe dream. I can't follow my dreams no more. I got grown up responsibilities. No, you're making excuses. You're attaching yourself to 3D circumstances that do not control anything because everything comes from the inside out. Everything manifests from the inside, the unseen world. It's the unseen world that is doing all the creating, that's doing all of the shifting and moving in this physical realm. Not the other way around. Like I tell y'all all the time, greater is he that's within me than he that's in the world. The spirit that dwells within me that calls things to shift and move is greater than he that's in the physical realm. He that can move things in the physical realm, that, th that spirit within me is greater than him. So chosen ones, creation is done. So what you going to choose? Choose now who you will follow. Choose now who you will serve. Will you serve the world or will you serve your purpose? Would you serve the higher self? Will you do the things that cause you to step in and walk fully in who you really and truly are? Who you was created to be? Creation is done. It is finished. You can't add to it or subtract from it. So right now, close your ass. If you watching this video, close your ass. Imagine yourself being where you truly desire to be. Doing, being, and having who you truly desire to be. And walk in the knowing that it is done. It is finished. And watch how that thing come to fruition. Watch how it manifests in your life. Anything, any circumstance you could possibly have in this 3D realm cannot hold you back from what God has called you to be, do, or have. You didn't get that dream about that business out of nowhere for it's just a coincidence. You didn't get that dream about that house and all that other stuff. You, you ain't, that ain't no coincidence. That's, that's, that's rightfully yours. It's your birthright. It's your birthright. You was born in royalty. It's your birthright to have those things. It's your birthright not to struggle. So why you keep throwing yourself in this box? Keep putting yourself in this jail cell of physical 3D RAM circumstances. 
that has no power over you, has no control over you. You allow these 3D circumstances to dictate your future when your future is not predicated on that. Your future is not relying on that. Right now, in this present moment, you can decide where your life is going to go right now. With your, with your conscious mind, if you can imagine it, you can be it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. You ask, where is the kingdom of God? Well, the kingdom of God is not out there. It's not over here. It's not over there. But the kingdom of God is within you. Stop denying yourself of what is rightfully yours. Stop denying yourself of what God has given you. You don't have to be pleasing to other people. You don't have to be, you don't have to do any of those things. You ain't got to kiss nobody ass. You ain't got to do none of that. It's already within you. You just got to believe it. You just got to know it. We, and listen, we passed that belief. You got to know it. You got to know it. You got to know that you know that you know that you know that it's yours. You ain't got no problem manifesting them issues and them problems in your life because you stay so focused on it. You stay, you stay so, you know, aware of your issues of the negative things going on in your life. You manifest that very well. You believe in that without a doubt. But then, as soon as you get a revelation, you get a positive thought, you get a positive vision, you get a positive revelation, you get a positive download, you don't want to believe that, oh, that's magic, that's a, that's a pipe dream, that's just my imagination. But you believe in all of the troubles and the struggles in the world, though. You believe in that, but you don't believe in the goodness of the Most High. You don't believe in the, good, the goodness of the Most High, that He will give you the desires of your heart. You don't believe that. But you believe in the trouble and the struggles. Okay. Well, you keep doing that. You keep living your mundane life. You keep doing the little things you've been doing. You keep struggling to make ends meet. You keep doing what you're doing. You'll wake up. You'll wake up to the, the wholeness and the fullness and the trueness of who you are one day. Hopefully, hopefully you don't die in the sin of your unawareness of who you truly are and what's been placed in you. Hopefully not. But chosen ones, creation is done. So what you gonna do with it? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Cre everything is done. Everything is done. So decide right now in this moment. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to guide your awareness? What are you going to put your attention on? Because where attention goes, energy flows. Put your attention on something positive and watch how all of these positive aspects of life start showing up in your life. For one day, just, just show gratitude for little stuff. Just feel good. Just feel good for no reason. You feel bad for no reason. Just love on somebody for no reason. Yeah, you get hate for no reason. Compliment for no reason. You complain for no reason. Just be happy for no reason and see how the universe give you more of which you are putting your attention on. Be happy for one day. Just be grateful for one day and watch how to universe the most high give you more things to be grateful for just by being grateful for the thing i'm grateful to be right here talking to y'all right now it's a beautiful thing it's beautiful keep going chosen ones y'all on y'all path y'all that little bitty ass bag y'all in your purpose keep going creation is done stop thinking you gotta be good stop thinking you gotta wait till you you have perfected yourself. It's not the case. It's not the case. But if you out here doing wrong by folks, and you know you are, purposely, you know you out here doing wrong, you know you out here doing bad, guess what? Your, your conscience gonna eat you up and, and you're gonna, you gonna get your karma on it. 
But once you burn through your karma, you can, you, and you start, you know what I'm saying? Becoming a co-creator with your higher self and doing things that are in alignment with who you truly are, you will start seeing changes in your life. You ain't got to go out here and scheme nobody. You ain't got to go out here and back door nobody. You ain't got to be out here trying to, you know what I'm saying, run it up on somebody like, dog, you ain't got to do none of that stuff. You ain't got to do none of that. You ain't got to put, you ain't got to take nothing from nobody. You ain't got to harm nobody. Everything has already been given to you. You just not looking for it because you keep looking at your 3D circumstances, which is causing you to be in this low vibration to keep you out here doing things that you think is going to get you where you want to be, but it's not. Stay focused, chosen ones. And y'all already know who it is. It's G. Wells with them. And if it ain't a capital G, it ain't me. And remember, chosen ones, creation is already done. Everything is nothing new under the sun. Everything has already been created. It's just a continuation of manifestation of these things and these ideas. Let me put it like this before I get out of here. Everything you see, touch, smell, and taste in this 3D reality that is separate from nature came from imagination. It came from your imagination. It came from man's imagination. So if everyone else can manifest things they want, so can you. If Nikon can manifest and create this camera that I'm using, you can create, you can manifest and, and bring forth the things that you desire. Everything in this physical realm is about manifestation and bringing forth the things that you desire. The, the house you live in right now, the apartment you live in, the car you drive, all these things. You're living in someone's imagination. This country we in, we living in someone's imagination because someone had a dream. That's why it's called the American dream. And it's not your dream. It's the American dream. You're living in someone else's dream. So create a dream in a dream. Create your dream in the American dream. Create your dream in someone else's dream. Or better yet, just, just go remote. <laughs> go off the grid and create your own dream. If you want to, if you feel the need to do so, if that's been placed in you. But listen, everything around you is confirmation of the manifestations that is taking place through humans in this 3D physical realm that is sponsored by the Most High. Where do you think these new ideas come from? Wonderful imagination. And y'all know what it is. I ain't gonna keep y'all long. But y'all know what it is. G-Wells with them. If it ain't the capital G, it ain't me. Let's go.